Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up parental control in Windows 11. In this video, I'm going to show you the program Wondershare FamiSafe, which is a really cool program that can help you monitor all the activity of your child's computer or phone. Through this software, you're going to have activity report, app blocker, screen time, browser history, web filter, and smart schedule. So basically, you're going to be able to control all the activity of your child's phone or computer as i've said doesn't matter if it's ios android windows or mac os so of course first of all go in the description down below enter in that link download the famisafe application on your computer and of course you're going to have to install it on your phone because from your phone you're going to control and you are going to set the rules for your kids windows or mac os computer and of course you're going to have to create an account and set up some passwords or pins in order to be able to secure the application. So for example, as you see, I have the app opened here. If your child wants to close the app and clicks on quit FamiSafe, he's gonna be required to enter the password and only after he enters the password, he will be able to exit out from the application. Of course, that password is only known by you. So in the application, I'm on Android for this example, you're gonna have to go down below to features. And here you're gonna have all the features that you need up there. Activity report, app blocker, screen time, browser history, web filter, and smart schedule. Of course, activity report, here you're gonna be able to see what your child does on the computer. And in the app locker section, you're gonna have all the apps that are installed on that computer. And by checking the slider, you can block a certain application. So for example, let's block Microsoft Teams and we also have advanced rules and we can restrict the schedule from a start time to an end time. And we can repeat that throughout the week we can set a time limit and so on and so forth. The app is very, very complex and you can customize all the rules for your liking. We also have here the screen time. We can block a certain device if uh, we can see that, I don't know, our child's been on the computer for two hours or something like that. You can click on block the device and then click again and block the device. And on the computer, as you can see, in one minute, we're gonna receive this message which uh, basically warns us that our computer is gonna be locked in 40 seconds. So that's a good thing. I mean, the app doesn't uh, instantly lock the computer in. It basically leaves us a one minute gap to save our work or something like that. That's really, really good. In, in the app, we can also set a screen time limit that we can, of course, customize later on and so on. So now we're gonna wait to see what's gonna happen after those seconds. So as you can see, today's time is over now. Please come back tomorrow so we can only shut down our computer if we want, as you can see here. In the app, we also can have access to the browser history. We have a web filter, which will automatically filter websites that are in a certain category. As you can see, violence, adult, discordant content, inappropriate, and also other stuff we can block all of those and of course as you can see down here we have the list of categories that are allowed and we also have exceptions and we can add a certain website as an exception i don't know maybe it is a website that seems dangerous but it is not and we also have smart schedule and we can click on set smart schedule and we can apply a certain time period in which we would have a schedule and we can also repeat that throughout the week or throughout the days. So as you can see in the home tab on the application, we have access to the browser history. You can see what websites I have uh, accessed. As you can see, I've went on ninite.com to install Opera. And if we go to activity report, we have here some activities that we've done here, which is really good. We can follow everything that our child does. And this is uh, this is really, really interesting. Of course, I'm not gonna go in depth with this application. I've showed you the main features of it and you can check it out for yourself. You're gonna have the necessary links down below in the description and you can check out the app for yourself. So this was Wondershare FamiSafe and how to set up a parental control Windows 11. Of course, it works on Windows 7, Windows 10, Mac OS, as I've said, Android and iOS, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm hoping this video was useful. Don't forget to leave a like down below if it was and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Also, don't forget to check out Wondershare FamiSafe in order to protect your child's computer from dangerous websites and dangerous activities. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.